Welcome to Industry News. I'm Chase Williams. I'm Kyler Smith, and we got a lot of stories for you today. So let's get into it. It's time to make room in your apartment again for plastic instruments because a new Guitar Hero game has been outed with a 2015-ish release date. Sources close to the project said they are looking to announce the game officially at E3 and aim to bring it to both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. They also mentioned that the new game will focus on a more realistic take on the franchise in contrast to the previous games' as cartooniness. Gaming analysis have already weighed in, stating that though they doubt the series will reach the level of success they achieved the first time around, there is still a good opportunity of revival. You know what three words drive gamers insane? Free to play. Love it or hate it, it's clearly a money maker for developers and is here to stay. Case in point, Lionhead Studios has announced that the upcoming Fable Legends for Xbox One will be a free to play game and that you can play, quote, from beginning to end without spending a penny. According to game director David Eckelberry in a video posted to the Lionhead Studios YouTube page, the game's free to play aspects will be similar to that of Killer Instinct, the rotating cast of free heroes that you can pay to keep permanently. Furthermore, players can purchase gold with real money to spend on digital items for their heroes. The game will also require an Xbox Live Gold membership to actually play. We've seen how free-to-play announcements have played the game developers in the past, including recently former Lionhead Studios studio head Peter Molyneux with his game Goddess. So we'll wait cautiously for more news about Fable Legends, the game slated to release sometime this year. Far Cry 4 had players hunting all sorts of wildlife, but on March 10th, they'll be able to fight a new beast, the Yeti. The Valley of the Yetis is a downloadable content pack that offers single and multiplayer experiences set in the Himalayan mountains. Players will be tasked with escaping this new area, encountering new mysterious creatures, and uncovering local secrets. The new content is included with the Far Cry Season Pass, but the separate price tag has yet to be detailed. Toe Jam and Earl. Yes, 24 years after the release of the first game and 13 years after the release of the last game, Toe Jam and Earl 3, we may be getting a new game in the zany cult classic series. Greg Johnson, one of the co-creators and developer of Toe Jam and Earl, has taken to Kickstarter to try and fund Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. The project launched on February 25th, asking for $400,000, and as of recording this on the 26th, has reached about $130,000. What does that asking price command? Well, Johnson says he plans to base this game mainly on the original, with fixed isometric cameras, 2D sprites, randomly generated levels, and an emphasis on co-op play, but with some elements from 2, such as Jam Out, Hidden Presence, maybe the Hyperfunk Zone, as well as some new elements like riding on Earl's back with a rapid-fire tomato gun, and much more. Now, it is a crowdfunded project, so you should always be wary, but Johnson's experience, as well as his high asking price, which makes it seem like he actually recognizes the cost of making a good game, does inspire hope. The Kickstarter ends on March 27th. Sony's annual Spring Fever promotion has just been outlined. The eight weeks of deals and digital releases kicks off on March 3rd, and every week after will add a new title to the list of games. Arrowhead's Helldivers begins the event, followed by Hotline Miami 2 on March 10th, Jamestown Plus the 17th, and Metal Slug 3 on the 24th. Then, Axiom Verge lands on the 31st, Bastion hits April 7th, Titan Souls April 14th, and rounding off the new games is Shovel Knight on April 21st. Those with PlayStation Plus will also be treated to discounts in each title. So get those calendars cleared and your wallet's ready. On a light note, we're all doomed. Google has created a computer that has learned how to beat video games on its own without any human assistance. Now the games in question are Atari 2600 games, but still, look at this thing playing Breakout for the first time. <laughs> and after a few hundred tries. Seriously? The developers claim the AI can beat 49 Atari 2600 games at this point, and their goal in all this is to have it learn how to do more complex tasks like drive a car so that they can have these AIs be part of their projects in the future. But come on, as if it wasn't bad enough that I'm getting beat online by children that seem robotic at games anyway, now I'm going to be beat by actual gaming robots? I give up. All hail our machine overlords. I'm done. Kyler, we got to finish the segment, man. <sighs> fine, fine. This has been Industry News. I'm Chase Williams. I'm Kyler. We're all gonna die. Back to the games. <laughs>